Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, which we're playing as now the Houston Rockets. Now unfortunately, back in the day, they actually had a unique focus tree, but the devs took it away and I never really got to explore it very much. But regardless, we are Houston. We have a generic focus tree expanded with uh, Old World Blues tech expansion as well as uh, the Old World Blues for the little guys, which gives us a little bit of uh, more things to do. A couple things to uh, really make ourselves more powerful. But good thing is, we do have a trade node, which is fantastic, even though we need to promote this. Regardless, we are currently at war with the patrolmen. And also, usually, when you start, it's 2276 right now, January 1st, 2275, when the Old World Blues mod actually starts. Um, we actually started with the Houston Governing Body, and I would have liked to play as them, but they are so... They penalize you a lot with political power. Um, if we were to stay with the Houston Governing Body, you would lose 50% uh, of your political power every day. Basically, you had no political power. And so basically, out with this uh, for the little guys mod, I decided to go with the elites because the elites are the only ones that do not have the Houston governing body. And we sell it to the elites. But we got a couple, uh, you know, national spirits to talk about, like the USSA headquarters. The United States Air Administration made its headquarters home here in Houston, granting us the ability to look at its technology and schematics, which influenced our designs, as well as a chance to learn from the military documents left behind, which is pretty darn good. Uh, we went with techies, we went with the rebuilding because we're rebuilding Houston, Swiss sauce, we're preparing for the worst, which I thought would make the most sense because we're elites. Um, and we, we're going down robotic tech too, which is actually unique. So um, so we went with the elites. I figured, you know what, we're survivalists, we're in Houston, we're part of the USSA, Air Administration. We're trying to have a stable food supply, we're trying to bring back the country. We're, my goal for this campaign is to get all of Texas under one banner, basically. And it makes sense because we're trying to prepare for the worst, right? It doesn't make sense to go with God's brightest right now, or even the private armies, really, or even business booming. Eh, you kind of see that a little bit. Improved business, but we're preparing for the worst. We're going to lead takeover. So, regardless, um, we're actually going to go down with robotic tech this campaign. We start only with infantry militia. So, I've been slowly converting things to get robots. Our robots are not very good. But we do have advanced robotics, which is actually awesome, or sophisticated robotic tech. We also have sophisticated air tech industry, electronics, construction, and exploitation. So special forces will be important and all, but really it's going to be the robotics. You know, we might actually go with power armor too, just because it's power armor. And that compares well with robotics sometimes, maybe. Eh, maybe not. You still have armor with special forces too, so we'll see. Regardless, we are currently at war, like I said. And as you can see, we've got a lot of infantry, but they're only 10 combat with. We've got two things of special forces for now. A tiny bit of armor. And then we've got uh, two things of light robots, which are... Eh, they're all right, and we just got over the board here because the patrolmen have no divisions over here because they just ended their war with the Desperados, which the Texan Brotherhood also took a little bit too, which we got to be ready to fight against because they are definitely going to come for us at some point, which is not ideal. Um, so, so we're trying, we just trying to expand, trying to make a name for ourselves out here. Um, sure, we'll grab that next. We'll probably just stick with special forces, light special forces, I should say. Yeah, ten combat width, not very good. You go down and around and see what you can do to gather everything up as much as possible. Get to the cannery quickly, too. Because I guess they took out whoever was down here. Buy you motors. So, and we actually have a trade in, which is very good for us. Incredibly good, actually. So this is good for army XP. We have a decent amount of manpower, but there's only so much we can core and get to. Uh, got some decode signals. We're going to get some encoded signals. That'll be nice. Um, but yeah, overall not bad. Uh, how many divisions do they have in total? Up to 18. Okay, that's not good. Ah, uh, the Mexicans want to help us out. Yes, free fighters. Yes, welcome. Welcome to Te Houston. Welcome to Texas. And I guess now, Louisiana. Uh, can you keep going in? It's probably pretty dangerous doing it like this. Expanding production. Now we're going to work on some of our cities. Maybe we take L Lafayette. Oh, is that good? Uh, that. Okay, that's all you need. Alright then. Oh, hello. Well, that's not good. Um, 250 days, that's not bad. Conquer Shreveport and Nakchitoches. Honestly, I'd rather just give this to them. Can they, can, can they demand that from us, please? I'd rather not. Because uh, that's a giant border to guard against. And while the Texas Brotherhood is not extremely strong right now, they're not that strong. Um, hmm. Oh, they're already allied. Oh god, they're all allied here. Huh. The only way we can expand right now is if we were to naval invade, which we won't. 
It's related to the Alamo chapter. We have a non-aggression pact with them too because they want to access to our territories and whatnot. We are alone, that's right. You know what? If they get to go to war with Azure Cito Mexico or Santa Ana and they start losing, we'll go to war with them too. Because this is going to be very difficult to do. I, if, I don't even have the State Transfer Tool Mod installed. Um, so we'll see what happens. Um, we definitely need to core a lot of stuff. We do have five research slots, which is pretty nice, pretty handy. Uh, but we'll see if that's really enough for us. As, uh, just going to be honest, Texas is difficult to take out, especially defend border by border with the, without the army that we really need. Even though fighting across these waterways would be too bad, but then they have that, this territory up here too. Ooh, hmm. Honestly, I could, I'd just rather just give this to them. We keep this, of course. So, hey, we'll have to wait and see. All right, everyone, so now it's 2279. The Provisional Republic of Texas has formed, but we are at war with the Alamo chapter, because I thought I could beat them up, and we kind of are. Um, I said I wanted to do power armor earlier, and actually, power armor is actually very strong. 35 armor at the end of where we get it, which is like roughly triple where our armor will be for special forces. Regardless, we're sticking with special forces because I've already gone down enough routes where we need to go down with them, so we're going to go download them. Uh, but you can see we're doing actually kind of well. Uh, we have 39 divisions, which is very impressive. They're not very good. Whatever. Um, they have 33. I think we'll do okay. They're starting to starve for supplies just a little bit, which is ideal to see. And we're here to just beat the crap out of them. Hopefully we can continue to make more encirclements, but you never know. Uh, we also have encircled a Lost Hills division as well, so that's just kind of a bonus on top of that. Um, but yeah, we're doing okay. Our divisions aren't superior. They're not fantastic. They are, as I like to say, all right. We have a lot of light robot divisions. We finally started uh, making a few heavy lift robots, which would be nice, but we're not going to be able to make enough of those, definitely. So let's increase our output and do that as well. Light robot divisions. I've already thrown a couple things on there. Combat robots. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're going to wait because I want to start getting some more uh, stuff for them, too. Or make it cheaper to put on there. And we don't have enough anyway, so... Uh, we'll put you on low. We'll put you on... Uh, yeah, honestly, that's fine. Four divisions is pretty good. CNC, iBots, very nice. I'm going to keep going with Mr. Gutsy's for now. Uh, just makes us here stronger. Fantastic. Go in there and go in there too. Help them out. Looking pretty decent. We can pierce each other pretty much. I got better maintenance maintenance efficiency, which is extremely important for us. Good, 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 good. Especially where there's a lot of swamps and whatnot. We're bringing businesses. We got invite refugees. We'll be fine. And there goes Tlaloc. What are you doing here? Oh, wait. Can we get down through here? Oh, that'd be great. We're doing okay on manpower. We started coring parts of Louisiana as well, so I'm not super worried about it. Um, so, yeah. Pretty good overall. Help them out there. Just help destroy them. We're working on our uh, group here. We've actually increased uh, the economic node. It started like level 2. Now we're level 8. Fantastic. We've got networked AI, and we're going to finish off with internal replicators. I don't like direct control because it really hurts the CNC robot organization. You get a lot of buffs, don't get me wrong. Um, but it really, really hurts the organization. I don't, I don't want her organization. As well as it lowers our frontline robot defense, which I don't like the penalties to that. All that, that's just a bit extreme in my book. Uh, but that just might be me. Actually, if you're connected down here, that might be really easy. Oh, thank God you did really well. Look at that. Uh, here, go here too. Got it. May, this, I would hate to live down here again. I used to live an hour away from Houston. Uh, it's probably uh, Vermont. This is where I actually lived before. Vermont, Beaumont, beautiful mountains. I was allowed to get French settlers to come here and settle into basically vault mine. Like, oh God, it's, it's so hot. I can't imagine living there. I mean, I can imagine myself living in, like, maybe Dallas. That sounds kind of nice. Maybe. Really hot. Um, then again, I'm used, to, I'm used to heat. So. Lots and lots of heat. Distribute pit boys. Sure. Oh, we got him. Look at that. So you actually have no, so there's no access through there, so that's interesting. Oh, hello, that is not our deal. Here, hurry up and get in there so we don't completely die there. You are leading robots, which is good. You're already a robotics expert. I did grab an energy drink for us to drink, so now I can't go to sleep at night, but that's okay. Life giver. Invite refugees, maybe expand the farms. That'd be pretty nice. Ooh, don't lose infantry guys. Actually, you... Hmm. You what? You all hold. How about instead? That might not be the worst thing for us. You go into here. Can you slip into here? Yeah, you can. Uh, I don't need you to do that unless they're actually going to move into there. You know what? Just keep it in place. 
Oh, would you look at that? Potentially another encirclement. Who could have seen that one coming? We did. Can you get over here, maybe? You'd have to go through those guys and that guy. We're gonna try it. I don't think we'll be able to because they're gonna start stacking more divisions here. Yeah, no, I didn't think so. So destroy this other infantry division, that's fine. What we could do is get over here since we can't move in there anyways. Yeah, that's an idea. There. Stack up right here. And we're gonna go right here. If we get parts of Mexico, that's fine with me. I don't really care. Um uh, here. Robots. Oh wait, that's vehicles. Whoops, my bad. Misclicked. I have recap for the army. Um you know what? I'm, I think we're okay with where we're at. That's fine. Ship stuff, don't care about. Chief of the Army. Town Defender would make a lot of sense for us, but we're going to do Bringer Civilization anyways. Tear for Leaf, whatever. Get in there. Bring your robots too. Contact lost, not ideal. We got 351 monies. Because we technically have two trade nodes, which is fantastic. Good. Uh, so like I said, we're coring, we need to core this tile, and we need 98. We core both of these, and I did give this other tile back. I gave all these tiles back. I installed the State Central Tool Mod, so things are a little more balanced. Um, for us, and for everyone, pretty much, too. There we go. Combat engineer is nice. Just keep working on it, keep working on it, keep working on it. Can we actually pierce them? No, we can't. Oh. That's not ideal. It looks like they know what we're doing, though. Which is not good, either. Good. We need to increase our piercing power, because I already increased it once. Mr. Gutsies... It's all ahead of time. I hate that. Maybe more piercing power? I mean, you know it's ahead of time. I don't care. We need it. We gotta hold. It would help if we went maybe here first. Let's go here. That would open up the combat with when you attack two tiles instead of just one. There you go. These guys are still looking pretty weak. Might as well send them in. Technically, we are in a time crunch because the Republic of Texas will want to come kill us later on. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We're going to circle and destroy these divisions. Let them come back over and then beat them up that way. In the meantime, go and send them out again. And military sending bonuses, yes. And broadcasting stuff. So we get more political power too. Because I'm sure we can use it. Airbase construction. Setting sail. Uh, good. Pretty good. Horse is looking decent. Just go in, kill them off. It's only four divisions. You actually might be able to break over here, maybe. What do you mean? Our honor special forces divisions. Only anti tank, which is not good enough. Maybe recon chems. I don't think we have chems though. Maintenance CNC bots. Eh. Fire team technically. It's all right. Good. Nice. Destroy that power armor, too. Come on. Um, and we're going to grab... We're going to go motor, uh, motorized. Laser weaponry for this campaign. Give up Cypher schools. Tax is going to have a crap ton of divisions by the time we're done. Uh... Keep making those combat robots. They're heavy. They're big. We need them. You know what? You might be able to actually just break through now. I need you to break over as fast as you can. That would be huge if we could break over. Setting sail and we'll do some ship stuff. Fantastic. Welcome back. Oh, that's gonna put some. Oh, that's why they're war with Edgerito Mexicano. That's not ideal. Okay, good to know. Which means we're gonna have to fight them too. We gotta keep fighting robots. Oh god, that's not good. Um, let's go core that tile first. Lafayette. Good. Dynamite for the special forces, just in case. Good, and we're gonna get the Alamo. They're gonna hate us down in Mexico, but they can come fight us. But they're gonna enable invade us a lot. Oh, fine. 
to find. Oh, that's not good. To the Alamo. Mexicans aren't taking it, but Texans are going to take it back. The corpse of Corpus Christi. Good. Give her good. Oh, you're actually the capital now. Look at that. The line. Hey, we got him. Oh, this is going to be bad. Take every naval towel possible. Actually, take everything possible. Ooh. That was a good little diversion. They actually have a not a great navy, and yeah. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna leave you out. Come back, Robert Andrews, because this is going to suck. You can do this. I'm gonna bring you to all that robots immediately, and I'm gonna need a backup army here too. They're gonna start justifying on us, and they're gonna start navally invading us, which is not gonna be ideal. Once they go to war with us. So we're going to have to deal with that somehow, some way. Unless we start justifying on them, and we might be able to, actually. Robots, robots, choose the right one, Mr. Milk Lover. Jesus. Uh, and if you want to do this, please go ahead. Um, agriculture's not bad. I prefer this one, though, because you get better consumer goods and stability, which I do like. Yeah, really See, ah. So they want all of this territory, which we're not going to give them, obviously. Oh, hello. Oh, boy. Texan Economic Union, the Rio Pack. You know what? If things get bad, if these guys could come for us. We're going to just have them fight each other. Republic of the Rio Grande, Estado de Texas, with the Republic of the Rio Grande. This is disgusting, and they should be ashamed of themselves. No, we're not going to keep... Oh, actually, you know what? Where are we at? Oh... Uh... Nikes. Um, you know what? You're going to come down here. You're just not strong enough for this. There you go. There you go. Get your butts in there. And actually, you know what? You're going to help put down a lot of resistance. Let's do that a little better. Ah, there you go. Richmond is actually not terrible. That's a lot of, you know, dastardly stuff, but whatever. Uh, good. Basically, it's a weaponry. Better recon kits. Awesome. So far, we're doing okay. Not great. It did help that we did have uh, a couple planes here, too. So. General replicators are good. I don't want to choose this one yet because we are still using infantry and that'll hurt our flat, flat, blah, 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 blah. flat line platoons, which hurts our infantry currently because we don't have enough to uh, really do anything there. Can you guys actually win here? versus five. Yeah, actually, might be able to win there. That should be kind of cool if we could. Reynosa. Yeah, we're actually doing okay so far. Two, three thousand. They got a lot of divisions, though. How come Death Plus eat our robotics team? Why would they want to eat our robotics team? I don't understand. You know what? Let's do it. We have maybe a division strong enough to do something there. Could go this way and down to around them. That'd be ideal. Dynamite's nice for the special forces. Robotic. Good, good, good. 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 Oh, we wanted Reynosa. What, what, what are you doing? Go and help them out. And by help them out, I mean kill them off. Oh, look at that air tech, though. We're here to kill them off. Oh, we got the cipher done too. Oh, just in time. Less than two lifetimes. Nice. I really don't want to use special forces to move around too much. The special forces are going to be very needed for this. Get your butts in there. Um, I really don't want to focus on Mexico. I really want to focus on Texas. That's the main goal of this campaign. Tejas. Can't win there, that's fine. Just don't lose your battle. Getting here is important too. It's a lot of divisions. It's a lot of death dead robots. Get here. You might actually be able to encircle them if you move fast enough here to there. Up. Come on. Nice. 
Nice. Good. Good stuff. Just don't lose the tiles here, please. Jump up there. Losing a lot of infantry here, but that's alright. And we're going to lane keels, why not? Rats. Take them out the mortals. You can circle them, destroy them there. Solid front line. We'll do very well. Uh, rocket launcher's good. Good, 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 good. Slow ahead of time. We're going to come back here. Do that instead. Nothing like the coast for the Houston Rockets. Oh, we got them. Good. Just hang on. We're actually doing really well. We're going to risk it too. Bring you back. Just a second here. Come on. Finish them off, finish them off. Scrap. Um, we're doing this too so that we can get some better divisions. Division uh, recovery rate. Alright, that's actually really good. Surprisingly very good so far. All the way down to the refinery would be fantastic as well. So hop up the line. You guys have nothing but infantry, so do that. So no, that's good. Uh, what else we got here? How about settlements, research speed, medical tech? I think we'll be okay. I'm sure we got plenty of water. Yeah, there's, it's a very wet area here. Motorcycles, bikes, it's fine. Do that, do that, do that, that's good. Uh, we need more of this. And you know what? We're gonna do this too. You're gonna slap on your new combat robots. Gives you quite a bit more armor. Look at all that. A little more initiative, armor, breakthrough, hardness, soft attack, hard attack, initiative. Uh, a little more capa energy still capacity. Air attack's alright. Slightly less organization. Actually, it's not that bad. Way more HP, but it actually slows you down quite a bit. Wait. Yeah, oh, their speed for robots is different than what I used to remember what it used to be. But it gives you more armor. I don't mind having a little bit less, basically, infantry speed for more armor. And we're here for quality, not quantity. Naturalized circuitry, nice. That's two years out of town, okay. Lane keels. That's fine. Um, send you guys this way, and send you guys this way, too. There we go. 600 versus 1,000, 1,400, that's not bad. Uh, what are you doing, boy? We, all, we look, we're, look like Assaultrons, but we're not really Assaultrons. Not really yet. Oh, now they're forcing the attack, huh? Not ideal, huh? I mean, these Mexican robots are tough. They're tough little cookies. Because they actually get a lot of buffs. And whatnot. Um, sure, fly boy. Sure. Wow. Yeah, they get a lot of buffs, don't they? More attack, lessons of aggression, especially with Santa Ana. You know, I thought they got more buffs. This is what they usually get more of. Uh, more support. Uh, eh, they don't got that much more extra attack. Huh. I, thought, I think traditionally they used to get more, but maybe uh, they have to remove their buffs. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going crazy. I'm probably just going crazy. I'm not. Uh, uh, maybe I'm crazy. I'm probably just crazy. What happens if we do a, an attack? Because we're pretty good on attack. Our defense for robots not very good. Attack, it's, it's alright. Especially if you have an uh, air superiority. That would be nice to have maybe down here. Oh, we got all stuff to build up to. Forgot about this. Oopsie. We've built up quite a bit, though. Because we have an airbase. Proud to wear the hat. And then... Yeah. We're doing alright. Mobile maintenance crews, because that gets us more armor. Literally the only reason why I did it. There you go. We're doing all right. Forlorn. Oh, now we can go to war with them. Huh? Go figure. And down here, vigilant recycler. That makes sense. But behemoth tank. Not really using either one. You know what? A sneering imperialist. Eh, I'd rather a negotiator.
How's the air warfare going? We're doing well. Guaranteed triumph, land doctrine. Oh, that's pretty good. Land doctrine bonus. Very nice. We've lost 1,700 versus their 2,000. That's not good. Alright, we're done attacking. We were all done attacking. Except for here. Good, we're done. For now. Dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in. But I think I might just end it here. I and mean, we're doing pretty well. It's going to be a give and take a little bit between us and uh, Ezra Cito Mexicano. But for the first episode, we're, we're pretty coastal, which I'm actually pretty pleased with. So if you knew the first episode of us playing as Houston Rockets, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As I continue coring more parts of Texas and getting down more in New Mexico. Thanks for watching. Have a great rocket rest of your day.